Hey y'all, it's Michelle with The Scattered Scrapper. Today I'm using a page maps sketch for a two-page layout, sort of. I have got a ton of pictures of my garden from last year, and I was having an issue with trying to put them into my album, and I do mostly pocket page scrapping uh, with some uh, 12 by 12s and 6 by 12s and 9 by 12s and things like that thrown in and I was trying to get my pictures to fit into the pocket pages and and have you know the right amount of 12 by 12 layouts and things like that and I was coming up short I did not want to make or rather I had pictures to make a full 12 by 12 spread, but if I did that, then I didn't have enough pictures to do another 12 by 12 to match up and all that kind of craziness. So what I decided to do was use a 12 by 12 or a, a two page layout sketch to kind of help me make a two page layout with one side being an actual 12 by 12 scrapbook page and the other side a pocket page and so I found that uh, page map sketch that had a lot of pictures and it kind of helped me to figure out the design that I needed to use for both sides of my layout so here I've picked out pages from my um, Wild Whisper designs collection called Play in the Dirt and I've got two uh, different colored basil card stocks I've got this light orange one here that you see and um, a deeper orange that I'm going to use to map my photos. So here I've cut this butterfly paper and the basil and the um, really pretty wood grain. And I'm just trying to line them up here so that I can make sure that across the whole layout they pretty much look cohesive they look the same there's the same um, like this orange paper here is going to go across both sides around the same um the same length or what have you so I'm going to get that set up and then I knew I wanted to use this piece that says you can't buy happiness but you can buy plants and that's pretty much the same thing so that's going to be like my main title and so here I'm going to leave the four by four or the four, hello, the four by six photo with the white border around it. And then here I'm kind of going through my pictures and <laughs> I have my garden laid out in a specific way. And I, when I take pictures of it to kind of document the growth and I tell myself where things I planted are and what they are and everything, I take the pictures in the same order pretty much every time. So I just was going through my pictures to make sure that they're all in the right order. And, and um, then I'm looking at the sketch and seeing, well, where do I want to put them? And how can I use the sketch to help me figure out my picture placement in my pocket um, page? Now, you can see that on the left-hand side, I'm using a pocket page that has six four by six pockets and that actually helps me to have um, a lot of options I can like in the center you see I can put two three by four photos which I did trim down a little bit and matted with the orange the darker orange cardstock and you can see that on the left hand side in that center pocket I just have the one picture and that helps me to kind of balance all of the photos across the whole layout. That um, I have the 4 by 6 on the far right that kind of sticks out on its own. And then on the left hand side I have the 3 by 4 in that pocket that kind of sticks out. And then I have my grouping all in the middle. And here I just went through some of the um, 3 by 4 cards. And that came with the collection and now I'm going through the die cuts and seeing what I might like to use and actually 
I don't use very much. I really like having all the photos really be front and center. Um, I'm going to uh, see which ones that I kind of want. There's lots of little words. There's mushrooms and other kind of vegetables. These florals are so pretty. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll put that one there. And I have the kind of the title on top of that green because I kind of felt like it was, oh, disappearing into that light orange uh, basil cardstock. But I, I do something different to help it stand out. And I don't use that, that green 3x4 card. Uh, this... Um, collection has a lot of die cuts and there's tools and flowers and butterflies and bees and I like that die cut that I put up there in the upper left hand corner that's the um the raised bed because that's what a lot of my garden is, is in raised beds but see here now this is what I've decided to do I'm going to lift up my kind of title card type thing up on a little bit of foam and that's going to help me to get kind of like a shadow it just pops it up off the page a little bit and it helps it to not just kind of disappear into the background and I'm just going to trim this up a little bit so that it um, holds the banner up I don't want that to kind of sink down or be crushed I, I'd like for it to, to stay up as well and I'm just gonna attach that with some of my ATG and then I'll get this other side and get it down and here I'm just got to look and make sure that it's if that my composition looks right I have my pictures are kind of overlapping one another and none of them are perfectly straight which is um, perfect because when I matted these photos and I go to put them on they're just a little bit too big so I end up um, overlapping them a little bit and having them at an angle so it almost kind of looks like I just dropped all the pictures and they're um, land where they may and that helps to it kind of helps to bring everything together because since nothing is perfectly straight everywhere, it doesn't matter if anything's a little off. And it doesn't matter that the left-hand side is in pocket pages. You can still kind of get the feel of a full two-page spread, like both were 12 by 12s put together. So everything's just a little bit wonky, and that helps to bring everything together. Being all wonky brings us together. Now here, I love these beautiful florals, but for me, these die cuts have just a bit too much white around the edges. So I cut these out and I'm showing just a little bit of my process here where I have my scissors, uh, my hand with the scissors still, and I'm moving my paper around. And that helps me to cut things out fairly straight. And I also did that with the word, the word die cut that's up there with the florals that, that says the hum of bees is the voice of the garden. Okay, now here I'm fixing to do some stitching and I have my embroidery floss in this really pretty um, dark orange color that matches the cardstock that I matted my photos with. But here's the problem. I'm using an old Amy Tangerine little pad and the little pokey tool to, to make the holes. But do you see what I'm doing? Do you see where it is sitting? It is sitting on top of my, of my photos. And I do have my photos inside of the page protector. But that little pokey tool, it goes through all of the paper. And then it goes through the little pad. And I've poked these tiny little, well, you know, I don't think it's actually all the way through. But I've got little indentions in my uh, page protector 
from where my pokey tool went all the way through everything and poked through. <laughs> so, word to the wise, if you're going to do stitching and you use a pokey tool, don't do it on top of your layout. Move things out of the way and just do it on top of your craft mat or or your desk or what have you. Because if you, if you don't, you'll end up <laughs> with little indentions all in your protector or in your pictures. <laughs> So there I've finished um, all of the stitching. I've got it there in the card on the far left hand side on the bottom there. And I carried that across my 12 by 12 layout all the way across. And I was using some very old, um, what is it called? Remarks from American Crafts. I have got this little sheet that has just a few little stars and the ampersand left and so I figured I can get that on this layout they really um the stars were orange so I just put them around the B and my little title there and now I am putting them around my little sub well I guess it's a subtitle and then on that um center card in um the center card there where the ampersand is it says beans potatoes onions and tomatoes and those are a lot of the things that i was growing and here as my last little bit i'm putting some heidi swap color shine in gold and that is going to finish this layout Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you will like and subscribe and give a thumbs up, and I, let's see, is this it? I should be done. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.